Hey everybody, my name is Rodney Dupree with Cajun Living and Cooking. And due to some of the tough times we have in our area right now, due to the coronavirus and the pandemic, uh, we won't be able to go film shows. So uh, we're going to ask for everybody to stay safe like we are. Uh, use your Lysol, clean up. Uh, we're going to air some of our older shows. And uh, we'll have our new commercials on it. And uh, everybody stay safe. Check out the shows. Like us on Facebook. But uh, thanks for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Tideline, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, and mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better. Trap line sitting on a pipeline waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name's Rodney Dupree, and today we're at the Galvis Hardware Store for the first annual Ascension Parish Crawfish Ball Contest and Crawfish Eating Contest. Uh, we're just getting everybody gathered up out here this morning. Everybody's showing up, setting everything up, cutting some onions, cutting some lemons, getting ready. Just had a big meeting for everybody. Uh, was drawing tags. Uh, we had 15 contestants, so we had 15 sacks of crawfish. Everybody drew a number. We fixing to get crawfish washing. We cooking crawfish. We eating crawfish. So Cajun living and cooking is coming on right about now. All right, y'all. We actually got good help out here today. Let me get your name. Hey, Jackie. And you had some help with you. Uh, Michael, he went to go get some more water for we need, us. We got the fire department out here bringing us some water to help us get the crawfish washed up. Now, I wasn't back here while they was washing them all. Did, did a lot of them wash their own crawfish? A lot of them actually did wash their own crawfish. Yeah, I, and I, if I was balling too, I'd want to wash my own crawfish. Uh, I like to get my hands on them. Uh, didn't find many dead ones, did y'all? Uh, there was a few, but not many. Gotcha. Uh, pretty big looking crawfish. Are they big? Oh yeah, they are pretty big. Got some good claws on them. All right can't stick your hand in there then. Maybe we'll get a close up and see some of these crawfish, but we're getting them washed up now. We're fixing to start checking with the cooks and see what their secrets are to some good crawfish balling. On their way up from the ball season, the balling, OJ season, planters play, April season. I'm throwing this in there right now. Set that ball. Now we're dropping the potatoes in there. We're gonna let them ball for a little while. Soak up some season, and we're gonna put our crawfish in there. All right, y'all got some more contestants here. Let's get their names and where are they from. Lewis Lambert from Galvez, Louisiana. Dempsey Lambert, right here in Galvez. Larry Denham from Galvez, Louisiana. This is homeboys right here, y'all. Now, uh. Looks like we're going to have a good day, good weather out here, Lewis. Absolutely. Nice day. Are y'all on time? You got your crawfish washed oh, up and yeah. everything? They all purged and ready to go. Okay. Now that I'm asking around, what's the secret to a good crawfish? What do you think is the secret to it? Uh, plenty of onions and garlic and uh, the secret sauce. The secret. Everybody's got a little secret they don't want to tell. That's right. It's traditional pretty much uh, from generations passed on down yeah from, yeah and, and crawfish balling's come a long way absolutely. when we was kids we balled into number three tubs that's with right. them old cup burners that's right that's right all right man i'm gonna wish y'all good luck and i'm gonna talk back with y'all after a while all right y'all found two more contestants out here let's get the name and where they from uh paul jane grosso from prairieville stephen barthamy from prairieville all right fellas uh have y'all balled in one of these before absolutely oh uh, now, I see the crawfish are very big. They're bigger than what I thought we were going to get. They're looking nice today. Now, I'd like to put a shout out to Hole in the Wall Seafood for giving us some real good crawfish today. They are very fine looking crawfish. Now, uh, everybody balls crawfish, and we wouldn't be doing this if we didn't think we could ball good crawfish. So what's the secret to good crawfish? Cold beer. Cold beer <laughs> is the secret. And, and, the, and the colder the beer, I think the better the crawfish. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, man. Well, I'm going to let y'all get back to work, and we're going to check back with y'all. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Thank y'all. Thank you. All right, y'all. got a, another contestant out here. Let's get his name and where he's from. Uh, my name's Doc Davis, and I'm right around the corner, literally. All right, man. 
This is all. Was your crawfish big? Every, all the crawfish look yeah, big. Yeah, really nice. Really nice. Actually, I've, I've tried that place. I'd say I found it last year when I was living in Baton Rouge. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, tried it out a couple weeks ago. That's some nice crawfish. Yeah, hole in the wall does really well. Yeah. yeah. Um, now what I want to, what I'm asking everybody is, what's the secret to a good crawfish? What's a good, what's the secret to balling good crawfish? Um, good friends, good ties. <laughs> yeah, and that's the answers we getting too, man. I'm a, I just. You know, gotcha. I don't know. Never done anything like this. I figured it'd be fun. It's gonna be fun. We got the DJ here. Good music, man. Things are going yeah. right. Yeah. Now I'm gonna let you get back to work. Okay. Good I'll deal. talk to you at the wall. All right. Thank All right, y'all. I got two more contestants out here. Let's get the name and where they from. David Sam Perry Gonzalez. Kyle Rome, Donaldsonville, Louisiana. Now you have a seasoning out. Yes, sir. It's called Bug Bath. Say it again. Bug Bath. Bug Bath. Kitchen.com. Uh, that's the. That's, that's the best season out right now. It has no MSG, low sodium, and it has everything you need in the bag already. You don't have to buy anything to put with it. All right, all right. Now, have y'all balled in some competitions before? Yes. Yes, sir. We got uh, we got first and second, the last two balls we were in. Well, good, good. I'll probably see y'all up at the podium up there. Now, I got one more question for you. What's the secret to good crawfish? Bug bath. Bug bath. Bug bath. It's not a crawfish boil unless you're boiling with bug bath. Our product is low in salt and has no MSG. So buy the seasoning, not the salt. Visit us now at kickstandkitchen.com. All right, y'all, I found another contestant at Hard Work right here. Let's get his name and where he's from. My name is Doug Sabatier. I'm from Baton Rouge. All right. Uh, having a good time so far? Having a real good time. It's nice out here. It's a little warm, but it's nice. Uh, it's going to be a pretty day. I think so. Uh, look like you got some good crawfish? Yeah, we got a good crawfish. They're kind of feisty. They're hungry, lively, biting me a lot. <laughs> but they're taking their bath. You got to have a real good bath. You got to go and put a dance on Saturday. If you don't take a good bath, the girls ain't going to hang with you. Now I'm asking everybody, what's the secret to good crawfish? The secret to good crawfish is they got to peel real easy. Gotcha. That's the thing. You can't overcook them. You can't undercook them. You probably kill somebody, but. Gotcha. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you get back to work, man. Thank you. All right. All right, y'all, two more cooks out here. Let's get their name and where they're from. Devan Dalgo. David Bell from the Moonlight. All right, y'all. Y'all right where y'all need to be? We, we just on standby waiting to do our little secret. Gotcha. Well, that's the thing. What's the secret to good crawfish? Well, if I tell you that, then everybody will know. Wait till I win, and then I'll tell you. Gotcha. All right, fellas. Good luck. All right, y'all. Right, got two more contestants here. Let's get the names and where they're from. I'm Travis Acosta. I'm from Donaldsonville, Louisiana. Kyle Blanchard, Pierre Park, Louisiana. All right, bro. Glad to see you out here, Kyle. Uh, I see you got some of your seasoning out here. You going to put some in the crawfish? Oh, it's got it. You already it's got, got it. it. All right, man. What I've been asking everybody, man, what's the secret to good crawfish? Cook time. Cook time. Just toddle. Cook time makes it feel right. Everything. That's All right. All right, man. I'm going to let y'all get back to work, and we're going to check back with y'all. All right. Thank you, buddy. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. got two more contestants. Let's get their name and where they're from. Ryan Landry from Port Vincent. Trent Leach from Port Vincent. All right, fellas. You got some good smells going out of here, man. Uh, how'd your crawfish look? They look big? Yeah, they're pretty good this uh, this time of year. Yeah. All right. Now, what I'm asking everybody, you know, what's the secret to good crawfish? It's all about timing and testing. Test, 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 and just come up with what works. Gotcha, gotcha. You got some really great smells here, man. Hope to see you up at the podium. I'm going to let y'all get back to work. Thank you. All right, y'all. got two more contestants out here. Let's get their names and where they're from. Mark Nesbitt, Baton Rouge. David Klein, Peter, uh, Prairieville, right down the river here. All right. Now, uh, how'd your crawfish look? Were they big? It was. They look good. They not, look... I, none of them really look little. No. You had any uh, trouble with some dead ones? Uh, no. 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 Uh, yes, you're gonna have one or two. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have one or two in there. Uh, y'all right where y'all need to be on timing? Ready to go. Gotcha. To go. Gotcha. All right. One question. What's the secret to good crawfish? Well, you might have to go ask some of these professionals over here. Oh, yeah? This, this is my first rodeo uh -huh. competitive cooking, but uh, I do put Klein Peter butter in it. Real butter. Real butter. That's the secret, y'all. All yeah. right, man. I'm going to let y'all get back to work, and I'll talk to y'all in a little Thank bit. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank y'all. 
All right, y'all got another team out here. Let's get their names and where they're from. I'm Baton Rouge, Ron Barrow. Prairieville, Logan Inlow. And I'm Jason Inlow from Prairieville. All right, bro. How'd your crawfish look? They big, they oh, nice? They're looking good, they're good size, absolutely. They all right around the same size, perfect eating size. All right. Now, uh, what's the secret, and, and, and nobody seems to know, what's the secret to good crawfish? My eight-year-old cook right here. Oh, we got the young cook. Yeah, he's the cook. He put oh, everything got... in the pot. Say that again? He put everything in the pot. Ah, we, we start them young now. That's right. Yeah. You gotta, well, you gotta, I... You got to have good flavor, man. It's not about heat. It's about good flavor. Gotcha. And soak time. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to let y'all get back to work, and I'll see y'all after a while. One of the things to cooking great crops here in Louisiana, you got to have onions. You got to have garlic. You got to have lemon. And you got to have good seasoning. But I can't tell you everything I put in there because it's a seasoning. Galvez Hardware and Outdoor Cooking has the largest selection of grills and outdoor cooking supplies in South Louisiana. Let our team help you select the right equipment for your cooking needs. Our unique inventory of cookware is second to none. Whether you are looking for a new cast iron or ceramic coated pot and burner, a new charcoal, gas, or pellet grill, or anything to help you with your outdoor cookout, come to Galvez Hardware because good food brings people together. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life-threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Living Mower Supply and Home Center, an authorized hustler, bobcat, and Toro lawnmower dealer. Specializing in service, support, and satisfaction. Come see the wide selection of new mowers, ports, string trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and much more. Our home center features hardware, feed, outdoor cooking supplies, hunting gear, and everything for the do-it-yourself homeowner. Come take a short country drive to the hidden jewel of Livingston and experience real professional knowledge and health. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center. All right, y'all got two more contestants here. Let's get the names and where they're from. Tim Dugas from Baker, Louisiana. Jeff Dugas, Baker, Louisiana. All right, man. I'm glad y'all come down here and cooked in the contest. Have y'all ever cooked in one before? No. No? no. That's a lot of them's first time cooking in it. Uh, how'd your crawfish look? They look good. They're pretty. Yeah. Real I, pretty. Good time of the year to have this. So the crawfish are getting bigger now. They're now I'm asking everybody, what's the secret to good crawfish? Years of experience, etiquette, dad, dad That's teaching it. you. Gotcha. Years of hand-me-down learning and how to do it. Hand-me-down recipe. Oh, well, I'm going to let y'all get back to work. I'm going to talk to y'all in a little bit. Thank you. Thank y'all. Picture. All right, y'all got another contestant out here. Let's get his name and where he's from. Eddie Knighton from Dutchtown, Louisiana. All right, man. How's things going for you out here? Going good, man. Got them soaking right now, ready to put them steam in here in just a minute. You got uh, one of them blue bug boilers. Yes, sir. I like it a lot. Bought it up right here at Galvez Hardware, and it's a good, good machine. I like it. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to ask you what I've been asking everybody else. What's the secret to good crawfish? Man, I'm going to tell you, like, I, time, temperature, and love. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I want to hear. Well, I'm going to let you get back to work, bro. Good luck. All right, y'all got two more cooks. Let's get the name and where they're from. O'Neill Parrington in Prairieville. Tommy Martinez, Sanima. All right, Mr. Tommy. Man, I'm so glad you come out here. Oh, I just enjoyed it. I, I cooked crawfish for 12 years. I used to own Martinez Seafood, and uh, when Ryan told me about the contest, I decided just to come out here and see if I still had it. Gotcha. Yeah, you've been balling them way back when they used oh, the number yeah. three tub. Huh? Uh, yeah, I used to ball them when they had bags only, none of this powder yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. Well, I'm going to ask you what I asked everybody else. What's the secret to good crawfish? Patience. Patience. 
Patience. And the secret is when you cut your crawfish off, you top them with ice so they sink and they quit cooking and they draw up the seasoning. But don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. All right. I'm going to let y'all get back to work okay. here and good luck. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank you. All right, y'all got another contestant. Let's get his name and where he's from. I'm Kalen Godso from Pepper's Fresh Market in Prairieville, Louisiana. All right, man. I'm glad y'all came and cooked out here. Uh, couldn't ask for a better day. Yeah, I know. It's nice. Uh, now, one question I'm asking everybody out here. What's the secret to good crawfish? A good seasoning blend and soak time. Got to soak the crawfish. It's the best way it comes out. I agree. I agree with that. Now, uh, your crawfish look good? You had good looking yeah, crawfish? Yeah, it looked real good. Good. It's that time of year. Yeah. When nice everything size. Looks not too hard yet, so it'll look good. Well, I'm going to wish you good luck, and we're going to talk to you in a little bit. All right, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, y'all, we got all the judges in here. Uh, uh, good luck to them, because this is going to be hard, y'all. I don't know how you're going to define the best crawfish out of all 15 of these. I've been walking around. They all smell really good. But let's meet the judges. Uh, they're going to say their names and where they're from. A.P. Bourne from Ascension Parish. Roland Doucet from Santa Carl Singletary from Gonzales. Lyle Johnson from Santa Jacob David, Dental Springs. All right, fellas, y'all got y'all's work cut out for y'all. We fixing to get some crawfish brought in here. We fixing to go tasting some crawfish. So uh, let's see who the, made the best crawfish win. For a really, really big crawfish, and uh, you know, or, or a small one, I'm looking for a good medium-sized crawfish. You know that the the tail meat's going to taste better. In a, in a medium, they're going to soak up. That's going to soak up the, the most flavor and give you the true taste of what that batch is. Jumps right out. Easy to feel. Love it. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hey, 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 look. 
Porsche's sausage, located in French settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor in customer service. This third generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites hog cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on site butcher has all your specialties smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories, like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, Trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. All right, y'all. This is the time we've been waiting for right here. Oh, here we go. We're fixing to see who got the best crawfish in Ascension Parish. Now, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Plenty crawfish still for sale. We got gumbo. And make sure you get on that 50-50. That's going to be drawing at 1 o'clock. So you win half the money and the other half the money goes back to the contestants and the first, second, and third winners. Now, uh, the judges said they had a hard time. It was so close. Uh, it, it's so close you wouldn't even believe how close. That's how good all these crawfish were. So I'd like to give a, everybody give a round of applause for all the good cooks. Yeah. Now I'm going to hand it over to her. And we're going to start with third place. We got the trophies. And then all the proceeds from the crawfish is going to go to the winners, too. So we don't know how much that is. That's going to be given at a later time. But we got the trophy presentations right now. All right, guys. This was done as a blind judging. So we don't even know who the teams are at this point. So we need the, uh, the team for third place with team nine. Team number nine. Lewis, good job, bro. This is third. That's third right there, bro. Good job, bro. All right, if Lewis Lambert took third, who's got first and second? Will you cut the lemon? That's the way it goes. In second place was team number three. Look at that, Kyle Blanchard. Tom Blanchard. That's you, bro. Come right here. Let's get a shot. Good job, bro. Good job, man. Anybody you want to thank? Uh, thank y'all. Thank you, judges, man. Good job, bro. Thank y'all, judges. That's it. All right, good job. And first place. Who's got team number two? Uh-oh. Team two. Look at here. Look at here. It's Peppers. That's my boy. Good job, bro. Congratulations. All right. Good job. Let's come back here and let's get a shot. Congratulations, man. Hold that trophy. Good job, man. Anybody you want to thank right here? Uh, thank my dad for helping me out. Good job, Dad. Taught him well, didn't I? All right. Congratulations, y'all. Appreciate it. Thank y'all. All right, y'all. Got third place right here. Congratulations, bro. Thank that, you, buddy. Thank that, you. That, that, it was some tough judging in there. It was yeah. really, really Appreciate tough it. judging in there. Yeah. Um, what was your secret? What you think your secret was? What, uh, was the, it, what garlic, the garlic. The lemon. The lemon. Uh, we probably should have tweaked something a little bit more, but. Uh -huh. Congratulations to the Pepper boys. They did a good job. Yeah, too. they did. Yeah. They did. All right. I'm going to thank y'all, and I hope you'll get in it next year for our second annual. We'll be back. Buddy. All right. Thank you. Thank y'all. Good. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. Got second place right here. Kyle Blanchard, bro. Good job, man. Good job, oh, bro. Thank you. Anybody you want to thank or tell about your secret or what you think the secret was today to your good crawfish? My seasoning and cook time. Cooking time. Yeah. Like when I, I cook, see, when I cook crawfish, I boil it three minutes. And then I let it soak for 20 minutes. It peels easy, all that. It's perfect. Gotcha. And then you do it that way every time. Every time. Forget about that seasoning. Yeah, I, I mixed up yeah, my own little batch of seasoning. And uh, <laughs> I will try to get it on the market whenever I can. So right now, 
I just got my regular season in on the market, but we're going to uh, we're gonna see what we can do about getting my crab ball well, on Well, you're going to be next year in the second annual, huh? You got to come. You got to oh, come. Got to, got to come. All right, bro. Thank you all for coming. All right, All right man. man. Appreciate it. Thank you all. All, All right, y'all. Grand champions right here from Pepper's Market. Grand champion, first annual. Bro, uh, either anybody you'd like to thank, or is there anybody, or, or, or what was the secret to your crawfish today? You know, what, uh, what you just, do, just doing the same thing I do every day. Uh, just real consistent, same blend, same vegetables, and uh, fruit I put in the same bowl every day. Gotcha. And they can get them same crawfish over peppers. Yeah, same crawfish. Well, yeah, that's good peppers. to hear. Yeah. That's good to hear. And I want to see you in it next year when we do the second annual. We'll be here. You got to come defend that trophy. I got to defend the belt. I want to thank y'all again. Thank you. Y'all you did, did a fine job. Thank you. It's thank a family you. deal. Everybody, mom is at home running the market. So All right. Uh, thanks market. to mom for helping out. So. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, y'all. We had a, a donated prize right here by Tara Lee's. Actually, Tara Lee's Vintage Parlor, she donated a door prize, so all the contestants who really is the ones who put this on, because they paid the money up front for the crawfish, one of them's going to win this fine piece of art that she sent out here. And let's see who the winner is. Number two. Number two. And that's going to be Peppers. All right, y'all. Peppers won again. They won the door prize. That's uh, donated by Tara Lee's Vintage Parlor. Thank you, Tara. Very, very nice. Uh, maybe y'all can hang that at the market or something. Yeah, we hang it at the market for sure. And she can come by and see her artwork. Thank Thanks, Tara, for donating that. Thank you very much. And good job, bro. It's a good day. You need yeah, to play the lottery day. tonight. I know. I need to. Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. This was the first annual Ascension Parish Crawfish Balling Contest. This is the remnants right here from the judging tables. They, they didn't quite eat them all up. A couple of them's missing, but... uh. What a fine day out here. We had uh, some some really good people. We had some. Uh, we had the former Governor Edwards out here eating some crawfish. So you know we done something. But uh, I, I can't ask for a better day. And and really good people, really good fun. Thanks to Galvis Hardware. Thanks to A1 Storage for sending the tables out. Thanks to the JCs. Thanks to everybody who participated out here. Thanks to Hole in the Wall for getting us the crawfish. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. And y'all tune in next week. Hey, I hope y'all like the show. Uh, during these hard times right now with the coronavirus, uh, things are going to get better. And together we're going to be able to uh, fix this, you know. We're going to go back to normal soon. And when things do go back to normal, I want y'all to let us know your events coming up. When things are coming, give us a call. Uh, I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week.